today guys we're going to be making an easy balsamic vinaigrette and I'm also going to show you how to make little spherifications or a quick way of doing them and if you would like a more in-depth video on actually making reverse spherifications then I made a video not too long ago which I will leave in the link down below which is a step-by-step -step process on how to do it but today we're just going to make a quick and easy vinaigrette I'll show you a little bit on the spherifications and then I'll make a nice little salad. So anyway guys, before we get going today, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and let's get started. So now a very quick method on making easy spherifications. Like I said, you can check out the actual in-depth video down below, but what you want to do for a reverse spherification is first we're going to measure a one to 100 ratio between water and sodium alginate, which is actually plant-based, or it's actually seaweed-based. So one gram for 100 milliliters, more or less. You can add a little more, but you don't want the substance or the liquid too thick. You're gonna blend this super well. You're gonna let this sit in the container in the fridge for several hours, or at least until the bubbles are gone. It's important that you don't want any bubbles, but if you do it overnight, it's actually a little better. And then, like I said, today we're just gonna use a simple, easy and quick solution. I'm going to make yogurt spheres. So I'm gonna take some Greek yogurt, add a little bit of milk to it, and that's it, plain and easy. You want to work left to right or right to left, but you want to make sure that you have your little alginate bath ready, a little bit of water, and then another little plate or bowl with a little bit of olive oil on it. You can take a little bit of the solution, pour it into your little measuring spoon, leave it in the liquid, as you see I'm doing in the video, and then taking your spherification spoon, which has all these little holes in it, which makes your life a lot easier making these, you can just take that out, put it in the water, and that's it. You have simple and easy spheres, and I will be making more videos later on, after the move and everything else, on how to do other spherifications, other liquids, etc, etc. So now for our vinaigrette, or for the main thing for this video. Now we're going to be making a balsamic vinaigrette, and I'm going to be using balsamic vinegar. But I am going to be adding a few other ingredients, such as shallots, garlic, a bit of basil, even a little bit of honey and I'm going to add some eggs because we're going to emulsify this. This will help make the sauce a little thicker and then well it just has a different texture to it as well. Now because I don't have my blender with me since I'm still moving, I'm going to take my shallot, take off the skin, clean it and I'm going to burn waz it. I'm going to cut it as fine as possible because my little hand wand doesn't have as much power as an actual blender. I'm also going to do the same thing with the garlic. I'm going to throw that into the pot and then I'm going to add my mustard and my egg yolks. I'm going to start blending this to make the emulsification first and after it has started to emulsify, after starting to thicken, I will then add the vinegar as well as some water to thin it. And once more or less is at the consistency that you want, here is where you can start playing with the measurements if you want more mustard or if you want a little more honey, if you want it sweeter, more vinegar as well if you want it more acidic. And of course at the end I'm going to add a few sprigs of basil leaves and blend this into the sauce. So guys feel free to modify the recipe down below if you want, but honey does go very well with this if it's a little too acidic and if you did add too much acid to this or vinegar, then add a little more honey. If it's still too acidic, then add a little more oil and add the rest of the ingredients just to increase the volume and this will reduce the acidity. Now if you don't want to emulsify this vinaigrette or if you want to make this vegan, omit the egg yolk and that's it. So guys, there is a very easy and delicious vinaigrette that you can make at home. And trust me, it's a lot better than a lot of the store-bought stuff because one, you don't put all the stabilizers in it that you will see all the other chemicals that they add to the ingredients in a lot of the sauces that you buy from the store and it's homemade. Not to mention it's also my recipe, so I hope you like it. And like I said guys, here's an easy, quick little salad that you can make at home. Have a few little tomatoes, a little bit of basil. We're using the spherifications as well that we made earlier. And I'm then adding the vinaigrette to it. And I did add a little bit of goat cheese with this as well. So again, another easy and simple little idea if you want a delicious salad. Thank you again guys for watching my videos and for everybody who has supported me so far. I will see you again soon, take care, and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.